Peggy 16. Hello everyone and welcome to Anthem. I'm Ben Irving, one of the lead producers for the game, and on behalf of everyone here at Bioware, we are excited to share this live gameplay experience with all of you. Joining me today are four amazing developers, controllers in hand, ready to take you on an adventure through the mysterious world of Anthem. Now a second caravan's been hit. Another one? Contract's getting fun now. You have the strangest sense of fun. You guys starting without me? Freelancer, time to get to work! Faye said these bastards made some kind of acid. They're using it as a weapon. Melted a couple of supply caravans. Scar's taking down whole caravans. Damn. I know. Should make this a challenge, huh? I like a challenge. Uh, who, who gets uh, cyber duty? The chair's all yours. Yes! So, find where they're making this garbage and shut it all down. <sighs> Piece of cake, right? <laughs> Our expedition starts in the player's strider. This is your forward base of operations. Here you can equip your javelin with a wide array of gear, weapons, and abilities, as well as customize your appearance to show off your own personal style and flair. In front of us, we have the Colossus. Jen will be our squad leader today, so Jen, let's jump in and get started. At the start of any expedition, we need to decide who we want to play with. Jen will be inviting two of her friends, but when you play the game, you will choose from your friends, guildmates, other like-minded individuals, or even go out and explore the world on your own. Now that our squad is formed, we need to pick our objective. This is the map screen, and as you can see, there are a lot of different activities to choose from. For today, we'll be playing the mission Scars and Villainy. Anthem is a social, co-op, action RPG from Bioware, where you will join a group called the Freelancers. The Freelancers are the brave few who go out into the wild and face danger head-on. They can do this because they are equipped with powerful javelin exosuits. These javelins are handcrafted and passed down from generation to generation, allowing those who have them to go out into the wild and feel super heroic. Today we will play from Jen's perspective in her Colossus, a heavily armored battle exo that trades agility for massive firepower. As you can see, her two friends have joined us. Renata is playing in the Ranger, a faster moving javelin with a focus on precision. Scylla is also playing a Colossus, but with a completely different loadout, one that focuses on close quarter combat, and we'll see his flamethrower a bit later on. He also has a totally different appearance with that sweet, sweet red speed stripe. Ours is an unfinished world, a world abandoned by its gods, the Shapers. It's also a reactive world. Here you can see our jets are overheating, but we can fly through this waterfall to cool them off. Owen, what's the plan here? Picking up loads of scars nearby. Take a look around the area, but uh, be careful. Owen is our cipher and guide for the mission and will provide valuable intel. The Scars are relentless invaders who crave the ancient power of the Shaper technology, and they're in a constant conflict with the Freelancers. Up ahead, we have a Scar Watchtower. Our squad should probably tread lightly here so they don't call for reinforcements. Oh, we could just blow it up. Look at all the weapons! Oh, and the, and the turrets! Better move quickly. There 
There's acid here, but not much. We're going to be making it farther in. Right. Checking out the scar camp some more. Missions can be joined in progress through freelancer reinforcements. Our fourth squad member, Catherine, is about to join us. Catherine joined us in the storm, a glass cannon with powerful elemental attacks and light armor. Catherine was taking a nap at launch, and while all her friends level 30, she's only level one. But that's okay, because in Anthem, friends of any level can play together to earn experience and great rewards. Train of this acid gunk leading down. Follow it, and we should find the source. Hang on, something isn't right. Okay, so that Titan was way too powerful for our squad, at least for today, so it was wise to avoid him. But emergent world events just like the Titan can happen throughout the world of Anthem. And it's a really important point, because what it means is, every time you go out and explore the world, you'll have a totally different experience that yields different rewards. By now you've probably noticed that traversal plays a really important role in Anthem. As you run, fly, and swim, through, above, and below the world, you can discover some pretty amazing things. Like right now, our squad just discovered the secret underwater entrance to the Scar Stronghold. Strongholds are a four-player mode that give greater rewards by taking on greater challenges. Once you discover a stronghold, you'll have access to it from your map at the start of any expedition. Looks like the Scars have laid mines in this tunnel. Jen, show us how a Colossus deals with mines. Combos are a really important part of group play. Using certain abilities together allows you to combo for extra effects like bonus damage. I feel a little bad for making fun of Catherine earlier, so let's see if we can have her set up a combo up ahead. Nice combo. So right there, Catherine called down a lightning storm and Jen used her railgun to combo for massive bonus damage. There's a shaper relic. Wait, something's odd. Get a closer look, would you? Night has fallen in the world of Anthem and the creatures that inhabit the darkness are out on the prowl. But honestly, that's a story for another day because right now we have that giant thing to deal with. I don't know what they've done to that relic, but it's getting worse by the minute. See those radiant pieces of energy? They're echoes from the Anthem of Creation. Return them to the relic. You've got to silence it fast. This will be the first real challenge for our squad. We have snipers to the right, the Shaper interface below us, troops in the middle, and then all the way to the left we have those turrets. Our squad can approach this in a lot of different ways, but Jen, you're the expert, so over to you. Looks like Jen is sending our squad to hit the snipers first. In the top right hand corner of the screen, you can see our objective is to find all six echoes and take them to the Shaper interface. So up ahead, Scylla has one on his back in the Colossus, and here you can see Jen has two. So Scylla just put one in, when we get these, and that'll be three out of six, and we're halfway done. The only problem now is we have to go through those troops in the middle to find the rest. Now Jen used her railgun to knock that elite out of the sky. Lots of scars headed your way, watch out. Uh, 
we can see the rangers hovering in the top left, getting ready to do something. Looks like it might be, yep, Frost Grenade out. Jen's gonna use her multi mortar for a big shatter combo. Alright, good job, Jen. Okay, we cleared out the middle, the last thing left of these two turrets. We could take them head on or flank. Looks like Jen's gonna try to brute force this first one. Okay, didn't quite get, they're gonna have to flank behind and hit those weak points. Okay, our squad's now cleared out all the enemies in this area. The last thing left to do is get those three Echoes and drop them off to silence the relic. It's gone silent. Disaster averted. Do you think we get a bonus for... Wait, something's happening. What the hell was that? I think... That was whatever laid all the eggs around here. The sound came from below your position. With some pretty awesome teamwork, our squad was able to silence this relic. The relics are littered throughout the world, left there by the Shapers, abandoned and volatile. But for right now, the mystery of the Scar weapon is taking us deeper and deeper into this stronghold. Scars were using those eggs as something, making acid probably. So the job's not done until we get rid of all the eggs. On the plus side, this definitely counts toward hazard pay. The environment seems to be changing. I have a bad feeling there are more than just scars in this stronghold. Strongholds are a long-form adventure, so in the interest of time, we're going to skip ahead in the action. Alright Jen, let's show off some different weapons up ahead. Let's have Scylla in front with his flamethrower and have you support him with your grenade launcher. As you play Anthem, you will collect a whole lot of loot. And loot plays a really important role in Anthem, not just because it makes you more powerful, but also because it allows you to create different loadouts to tackle a wide variety of different situations. What is that? You're supposed to tell me. Right. Just be careful. Our freelancers just discovered an ancient Arcanist resonance. Interesting lore, items, and materials are scattered throughout the world of Anthem for you to discover and collect. By now you've probably noticed that our squad has some pretty awesome abilities. 
In particular, the Colossus has a legendary multi-mortar, and the Ranger has a legendary frost grenade. Loot comes in many different rarities, and legendary items are very hard to come by. If you get your hands on one, they have special bonuses that make you more powerful. And I have a feeling our squad's gonna need all the power they can get for what lies ahead. So our squad has a lot of different things to deal with here. We have the smaller soldiers that if left unchecked will totally overrun our squad. And then we have the Swarm Tyrant herself. Now the Swarm Tyrant has three big sacks on her back and they're her weak points. Our squad has to focus on the weak points to cause massive bonus damage. Now, if Jen gets too close here, she'll take a lot of damage from the Swarm Tyrant's frontal attack, but if she tries to stay too far back, she'll get caught in her webs. Legendary multi mortar right on that weak point is perfect. Looks like Scylla managed to light her on fire with his flamethrower, now she's taking a lot of extra damage. God managed to destroy one of the sacks, leaving the Swarm Tyrant vulnerable. By using teamwork and focusing on her weak points, our squad has caused the Swarm Tyrant to retreat. Looks like she's called for help. Our squad has to take control of this choke point to make sure they're not overrun. What we really need is Scylla to get his flame wall out. There we go. Nice job, Scylla. Maybe a lightning strike here from the storm would be helpful. Awesome. And Jen, if you can do a combo here, it would be great. Maybe that multi-mortar. All right. Looks like our squad now has everything well in hand. But the Swarm Tyrant is back. Jen's gonna get out of here, she's gonna take a lot of damage. Nice, Scylla's set the Swarm Tyrant on fire again. Every Javelin has a powerful ultimate ability that can turn the tide of battle in your favor. This battle isn't over yet. Thank you all for watching our live gameplay experience today. Anthem will be available on February 22nd for PC, Xbox One, and PlayStation 4. For more information, go to anthemgame.com.